A breathtaking drama played out on the streets of Egypt this week. The country's first elected president thrown out by the army after millions of ordinary Egyptians took to the streets in protest. Impressive scenes, yes, but perhaps not such a big surprise. I was born in Cairo and still have family there I visit. When I was last in town, you could sense that things were bubbling over. Tensions were rising and talk of a second revolution was very much in the air. The price of food is going up, transport is gridlocked and rubbish goes uncollected. Driving around Cairo, the buildings are crumbling and there is a feeling of lawlessness in the air. It's a breakdown of society. And if my relatively middle-class Egyptian family are finding it hard, then who knows how the rest are managing. The former President Morsi was thrown out this week after only one year in power, so it's really not fair to blame him for everything. But his priorities were wrong. He spent too much time trying to force through Islamic law and not enough time worrying about the economy and tourism. And whilst people are calling what happened this week a military coup, I don't think that quite tells the whole story. In this case, the military were not acting in isolation. Instead, they were responding to the millions and millions of people on the streets. Yes, President Morsi was democratically elected, but having been so, he betrayed the people's needs and followed too narrow an agenda. You can't turn a country like Egypt around in a year, maybe not even five. But until the basics get sorted out, I believe Egypt will remain a restless place. The next leader needs to get the water running, sort out the streets, create jobs. And until they do so, the people of Egypt shouldn't be satisfied.